real raw and uncut right now. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and I'm also a makeup artist. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave. So in today's video y'all, Y'all already know it. When I'm in the bathroom, I'm probably doing my hair. Nine times out of ten, or eight. Eight times out of ten, I'm probably doing my hair, and that's what I'm doing in this video. I'm showing you guys how I install this unit, and I'm actually, like, giving y'all a style and a look. Excuse the strap. It broke. Let's not. Stop. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm showing you guys how I install this unit. I'm also going to curl it. And then style it and pin it up and do this fish braid like I don't know if y'all can see it but there's like two fish braids in my hair it's just a really cute look it's definitely a play on the 90s with the side swoop and the updo but it's also very modern day so if you guys are interested in today's video let's go ahead and get into it and thank you so much Ali Pearl for sponsoring today's video I got 22 inches of body weight, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I will link it down below. Um, 22 inches, 180 density. And it's a, let's see, let's see. Fresh out the pack too. Wait, is this a, and it's a V part wig. This is how it's looking, so pretty. And y'all know that I usually like to start off my videos or just when it comes to like hair content, I like to wash the unit, but I don't have time for that. I'm trying to do something today, not do something, but like get out of the house today on my off day. So I'm not trying to be stuck in the house filming content, even though I really, really want to film content. So yeah, that just, I'm just going to have to put this on my head. So if you end up purchasing this unit or you're purchasing units in general and you're just coming across these videos, make sure you wash your unit. I'm not going to be washing my unit today, but majority of the time I do wash my units. So I just wanted to say that. I did just take off my middle part because y'all know I had a middle part last week. Um, so I'm going to be turning this into or just placing it into a side part. So this is my previous braid down. I kind of changed it up a little bit. This didn't really work because it just made the wig look a little bit lifted. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my braids out. This is how I kept my curl, my curl. This is how I kept my leave out curled by just putting it in a mansion knot. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my braid down down and re braid it down into a side part to where my leave out is right here because I want to for a side part. Two for one, give this leave out a break and because I just want to wear a side part. So let's go ahead and loose this out. And I just washed my hair a couple, like a week ago. So it's not super oily, which is why I'm okay with doing this and okay with not washing my hair. Because y'all know I'm screaming on the inside because I'm not washing my hair. I really want to wash my hair, but I don't have time to wash my hair and wash the unit, then style, then film a get ready with me or try to film a get ready with me and then go outside of the house and, you know, be out and about. So, yeah, real raw and uncut right now. <laughs> I still have morning boys. I'm over here thinking out loud to y'all about these videos. Uh, okay, so my hair is loosed out. The wig parting is like five inches. So it needs to be all the way back here. Okay, and I'm just doing this to make sure I leave out like my parting is long enough. I think that's enough leave out for this side. I'm really just guesstimating. I 
am going to put the wig on my head before I do any type of braid down. Because I just want to make sure. It's good. So I'm just going to put this in a ponytail. So this is how the wig came. Everything is still pretty much intact. I didn't, I literally just pulled it out of the box. These curls are pretty. Oh, I hope this wig isn't too big for my head. So usually if the wig is too big, um, I just try to like take these little things on the back of the wig and crisscross them to the other side of the wig. All right, so now this is how the back of the wig is looking. Let me turn it like this. So, can y'all see that? It's like crisscrossed. Yeah, it's crisscrossed <laughs> because it's a little bit too. It's too big. So, um, I think I have made my part a little bit longer. Oh, this is becoming very. Professional, Shani, get it together. What in the world? And it's still long. <sighs> hold, hold on, y'all. Okay, so while I think about and figure out how I'm going to get this wig to fit in my head, I'm going to go ahead and braid my leave out out of the way and do my braid down y'all have seen me do this a couple times so i'm just going to put some music over it and braid my hair down Okay, now that my hair is braided down, I'm moving back into this wig. So y'all see how there's just like a half an inch of this wig that's too big? It's like that on both sides. So I'm just literally going to cut it, cut it off. Um, I probably should have went back in and re-sewn down like, I don't know how to explain it. Like I should have sewed the wig back together because all of these wefts are now exposed um, because I cut into the wig. So I probably should have just went in and so did so that it won't fall apart eventually but i wasn't doing all of that if you do have a needle and thread at home i would recommend going back and sewing the wig you know back down so that it won't fall apart um if you have a sewing machine i would do like back stitches or something like that but i wasn't about to do all that you know what i'm saying i just needed to cut off the excess wig that i didn't need you know what i'm saying and then eventually i'll go back in and try to reseal the webs but right now i'm not doing it <laughs> And that's pretty much all I needed to do to this wig to make it fit properly. Um, so I really like how it looks now. And I'm just going to go through and adjust the combs and clip the wig down onto my head. Now that this wig is secured and on my head, I'm going to go in, comb it out, and then trim the wig up to match the right side of my hair because this is a middle part unit it was made to be a middle part and i turned it to the side so naturally the left side of my unit is going to be a little bit longer so i'm just going to go ahead and trim it up to match the right side And now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in and add some layers to the front part of this unit so that it frames my face. And once I curl it, all of the curls just fall really nicely in a layered 
look and I also wanted to add some layers to add some volume to this wig because it was like laying a little bit too flat and then I'm just going to add some dry shampoo to my leave out and press that out I added dry shampoo first because my hair was in braids for like a week so it did accumulate a little bit of oil so I just wanted to soak up just a little bit of the oils before I pressed this section out and then once I was done with the dry shampoo I just went right in and pressed my leave out out and I think I had the flat iron on like 410 degrees maybe 390 I'm not really too sure but I know it was like under 410 and then once I was done with pressing out my leave out I went in and put some curls in my hair I used my babyless curling iron that's like one and a half inches um, and I just threw some curls in it. I didn't show you guys that process because I showed y'all how to curl your hair like multiple times and I just really was trying to get my hair done. So this is pretty much how the unit is looking after not washing it at all. It's fresh out of the box. I curled it, pulled my leave out out, straightened my leave out and that was pretty much it. So this is like right out of the box if you didn't have time to do anything to the hair but curl and put it on your head or Put it on your head and curl this is what it could look like okay so this is the next day and i went in and added some more layers to my hair because i just felt like i needed some more volume and just a little bit more layers so that this hair wouldn't be one length so i did that and then i also added a few curls to it as well i did go in and wash this wig as well i just didn't show you guys that process because y'all have seen me do that before and i don't want to make these videos like super repetitive but i did go in last night and wash this hair condition it and i blew it back out um but yeah as you guys can see i'm just adding layers all over i don't really have a method to any of this i'm just doing it so yeah I am about to do like a updo because like even though it looks fine it's still like this camera is just swaying <laughs> even though you know even though the hair looks fine I still feel like my leave out is not looking the best um, so I'm gonna do a up style because y'all know I really an up style on me really just I don't I don't know what it does it just it just does <laughs> so I'm gonna do an up style but I'm gonna add some fish toe braids in the back so since I'm doing an up style and this is a wig I'm gonna make sure I leave some hair out in the back to like cover so let me just put this out of the way this is gonna like cover and then I'm just gonna grab two random chunks in the back of the wig to do a fishtail braid. So I think this will be enough. <laughs> yeah, that should be enough for like one fishtail braid. Mm, it might be small. Okay, I'll just figure it out. I'm just gonna grab it in two sections and then just start overlapping the hair like that. I honestly don't know how else to explain <laughs> I just remember teaching myself this like a while ago. Of course this will probably look better with more hair, but I'm just going to keep crisscrossing it over to the other side, like so like that. Ooh, not my contact right now. 
Maybe I should have made it bigger. Mm, it's fine. Oh no, it's forming, it's forming. The fish towel is forming. Okay. And I'm not making this perfect at all, y'all. I'm literally just crossing hair from one side to the next. All right, so I found a rubber band and I'm just gonna tie the end of this braid and then fluff it out. Like pull it apart. And I'm gonna grab a bigger section on this side That'll do it. All right, so I'm just gonna split it in two down the middle. All right, so it's in two. You guys see the two that I overlapped. Now I'm just gonna go to the back again, cross it over, grab it with my middle finger, pull them apart again, twist, once again, cross over, ooh, 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 twist, grab from the other side. And I'm just gonna keep doing that same process all the way down. Twist, grab from the other side, twist, grab from the other side, twist. At this point, I'm not even trying to make it look neat. I'm just trying to get this over with. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do a regular braid to secure it a little bit. And then take my rubber band and tie the end of it. Okay, once I have the rubber band at the end, I'm just gonna fluff this braid out. I really feel like I did this before on my channel. It might have been like years ago, but I feel like I've done this on my channel before. Because how do I know how to do this? <laughs> okay, so this is the fish braid on this side. I probably could have did it a little bit better, but um, this is how it's going to be today. I don't think it's bad though, I actually think it's super cute. Okay, I have my two braids and now I'm just going to grab hair and twist it up into a claw clip. Um, nothing is really super neat. So yeah, I'm just going to grab it up. and. Probably twist it around twice. Yeah. And then I'm just going to place the claw clip right here. And pull the hair over the claw clip so it just like kind of waterfalls. A little bit. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to take my fishtail braids and cross it over. I need a bobby pin. And I'll take this one and cross it over as well. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it because that defeats the whole purpose of doing a fishtail and bobby pin it. I want it to lay a certain way, so I'm going to take another bobby pin and like try and bobby pin it to where it's like laying where you can see it. Does that make sense? Probably doesn't. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the random pieces that are still out and curl it a little bit tighter with this flat iron. Wait, I think this is like super hot. I hope I'm not burning the hair. tight curls I'm literally just finding random pieces to curl
Okay. Now these random pieces, I'm gonna try to like, probably pin them up as well. I still want them to cover the back of my head because this is a wig. Same thing with this side, let it droop down a little bit. And I'm just gonna probably pin this up and into the big. So now it looks like that. Wait, this is I think this is actually really cute. <laughs> you can't really see the fish tail that much especially on this side I don't even know where it went on this side but you know what maybe I can bobby pin it upward let's see oh it's probably still not gonna work Okay, let me put something else on that I can give you guys the whole, like, look. <laughs> Came out, bust it, came out, bust it, came out, came out, for your present. I do all these loses, bust it, then they let it go Okay, <laughs> I really just did the most. But this hair was giving little black dress and my strap broke. Just excuse that. But this hair was giving a little black dress and I was just like, let me throw this dress on just to like complete the look. Um, I'm definitely not going anywhere, but when y'all see this on Instagram, y'all already know what time it is. This, it came out so cute. Like the whole look just came out so cute. The curl that's in the middle of the back. Oh, then the braided detail just gives it more of a spring summertime feel to it vacation weekend date night girls night you know but getting into like the review of the hair i honestly don't mind the hair at all i just personally would like to get more of a you know frizzier texture so that my texture just blends a little bit more with the wig. I also feel like the wig could have been a little bit thicker. Maybe it's because I turned it into a side part. Um, I'm not really sure, but I do feel like it could have been a little bit thicker. That's why you guys see me cutting layers into it so that I can just like zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, but it was pretty down. I just like it better in this up style a little bit more just because of the texture of the wig and my texture it just wasn't blending in how i wanted it to blend in i needed a little bit more frizz a little bit more texture but if you are going for a sleek silky hair texture and you have like a relaxer or something like that or your hair is just on the finer side of things i think this unit would be really really good for you um because it is sleek it lays down flat to the head that's one thing i did notice about this hair and this wig in general the construction of it it lays flat i did run into some issues where the wig was a little bit too big but that's my fault um i just really need to make sure i send in the measurements of my head so that the wig fits better it wasn't super big because it's still on my head um but i do have maybe like an inch of wig that's just a little bit too big and then y'all seeing that I cut like a half an inch off of the um the part of the wig as of right now it doesn't really mat or shed I have worn it to work I have worn it out and about and I really didn't notice any matting or tangling yes I do have to like brush it out occasionally but I don't know that just seems normal to me um now when it comes to shedding i am expecting this wig to shed but it hasn't really been shedding too much because I, I haven't been wearing it for long um but when i wore it out i didn't really notice any shedding or anything like that but i am expecting this wig to shed a little bit just because i did cut into um the wig but 
yeah it hasn't really been shedding at all i haven't really noticed any shedding when it comes to this wig i think i touched on the majority of the questions that you guys asked y'all always ask me if the wig mats or sheds right now it's not shedding if it does start to shed i will update you guys in the comment section or I will update you guys in a monthly vlog or a vlog. <laughs> um, because you guys can just see me more. You can, you guys can just see the wig more in everyday life when it's when I'm vlogging. So if you guys are interested in that, just stay tuned to my vlogs. Um, they are kind of behind. So I don't know when this February vlog will come out. And I haven't really been out and about in February this month so yeah just stay tuned and I'll update you guys in the comment section on if this wig starts to act crazy but as of right now I don't really have anything to say about shedding and um, matting because it hasn't been doing that um, the color of the wig spot on it's blending do y'all see this oh my bobby pin is Open up. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. If you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns about this unit, just leave it down below and I will get back to you. It just looks so good. <laughs> the style that I just came up with just looks so good. Um, thank you so much, Ali Pearl, for sponsoring today's video and providing me with this unit. If I have any coupon codes, you guys, I will link them down below or try to list it on the screen. Like I said, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, and I'll definitely update you guys as well. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, my face will pop up right here. I think I will put it right here. And all you have to do is just click on that and subscribe. And then if you guys haven't seen this video on the screen or if you haven't already seen the playlist, the videos in this playlist that will be linked on the screen, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little different. I actually like styled, styled the hair. Like, you know, not just curled, you know? So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much, Ali Pro, for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.